Hello everyone, my name is Rainy. Welcome to another uh, episode of Unboxing Time. You've seen these videos before, you already know what time it is. But what makes this one a little bit different is I have no idea what I'm opening. I mean, I do, I do have some idea, okay? I know that it could be like one of four things, but I don't know which one of those four things this is. So this is the big ass box that Amazon sent me and I started to open it at first but then i decided wait this is the perfect opportunity for some content and i thought i knew what it was based on the shape but uh based on the distance that the inside that the contents inside the box travels i don't think that it is that thing anymore listen <laughs> so uh the thing that I thought this was would not have that much travel distance inside this long ass box, which makes me wonder why did they send me this huge ass box for something this small? Anyway, let's get right to it. You know, now that I think about it, I, I may have some idea what this is. If I can get this open, you ever like, you ever like start to do something the hard way and you're so determined to make it work that you just don't use the easier option that's usually right in front of you. Yeah, that's called man brain. It's okay, we all suffer from it. There we go. Look look how much time I save just being smart. <laughs> like who like who do I have to prove this point to? I like it's so much easier to just grab the the multi tool. Like I don't know why <laughs> why do we do this? Pop this bad boy open and see what is inside. What? Oh my god, this thing is so much smaller than I thought it was. <laughs> okay, so it turns out that it ended up being exactly what I thought it was going to be, but I didn't realize it was so tiny. Or rather, so tiny compared to this long-ass box. Look at this box. Look at this giant box. Look at this giant box that Amazon sent me with this keyboard. You know, I would understand if they surrounded the keyboard with a bunch of paper and other protective ma packing materials and stuff like that, but uh, <laughs> this is about as much protective material that they put inside this long ass giant box. But anyway, that's enough of that. Let's get into this keyboard here. So if I've never made this apparent on this channel, I am sick of dark peripherals, okay? I'm just sick of everything being either black or red, and I get it, right? Like, I understand, like, a lot of stuff is RGB now, and RGB pops against the darker base, so I totally get it. But, like, I've just been using all this stuff for so long, and it gets so hot back here that, like, I don't need a bunch of dark materials just trapping heat in this corner where I work. Especially with the two lights that I have beaming down on my very shiny forehead as we speak. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna pop it open and see what it's like. So, I know a lot of people do, like, specs and stuff, but this is not a tech channel. Uh, and I will leave that to the tech channels. This is kind of more of just like, you know, when I do these unboxings, it's more of like a look and feel kind of thing, you know? It's more of like, okay, well, does this look cool? Does this feel good on my hands? And if it does, then, you know, that's pretty much the gist of the video. Obviously, I looked up the specs before I bought this thing. You know, I'm not, I'm not an idiot. But as far as, whoa. Oh, this is cool. Congratulations, and welcome to the next level of gaming domination. Wow. That's really cute. Once again, I hate when people go over the outside of the box, so I'm not gonna do that stupid ass shit. I'm just gonna show, oh God. I'm just gonna, just gonna show you guys what this bad boy looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and open that right there and this right here. Ooh, nice braided cable. I think I knew that already though. Nice, uh, nice protective foam padding on the sides. I really thought this was gonna be bigger than it was. And let's get this, God, so many like, can't recycle any of this. But wow, look how sleek that looks, man. Oh my god, especially against the light that I have behind me. Wow, look at that. That is fantastic. Razor, you really knocked it out of the park with this one. So let's go ahead and uh, get a nice clickety-clackety feel for it. I don't know about you guys, but that is so satisfying. I need to hear that shit when I'm working, okay? These Apple keyboards, like, they just don't do it for me. They, like, there's not enough in these Apple keyboards for me, but this is great. The white keys against that, like, sort of silver finish gives it a really nice touch. Oh my god, holy shit, yo, there's elevation bars back here. When you don't want your keyboard to sit flat for whatever reason, you can lift these tabs and give it a little bit of a height adjustment, and there's two, there's two levels to it, which I think are really cool. There's the slight height adjustment, and there is the 
much taller height adjustment. Wow, I think that is really cool. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in, see what it looks like, and uh, yeah, let's cut to that right now. Once again, this video is not gonna be super long because I'm not gonna get into too much of the tech stuff regarding this keyboard. Again, this is just more of a look and feel unboxing. Off rip, as soon as I plugged it in, uh, the LEDs started going. They look fantastic. Um, not as bright, uh, considering I have this giant Lifex, uh, white light shining down on it and, you know, it's reflecting off the white surface of the keyboard, but I'm sure in a darker setting, they look even more fantastic than they actually do here. And even still, uh, I think the subtlety of it is something I really like. I think this is the brightest it goes, actually. Um, by the way, to, to change the, uh, RGBs on the fly, you just hold this, uh, FN, hold the function key and... Every single key that does something while you hold this one will illuminate, right? So, and it has the function right here. It has a macro for audio recording, a macro for gaming. Um, it's got the volume bars here and there. It's got pause, fast forward, rewind, and the LED indicators down here tell you what's on at the moment and what is not. It feels great. I like it a lot. Let's go to Earth Boys one month later, which you can check out after this video. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So, there you have it. Oh, God. Folks, the all-white Razer Huntsman keyboard. It's a really great key. I'm, what the fuck? Oh, my fucking God. Yo, I thought that was a, I thought that was a fucking guy, dude. Oh shit, dude. I got, I gotta fucking put that coat hanger somewhere else. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, so there you have it, folks. The uh, all white Razer Huntsman keyboard. You definitely get what you pay for. It looks exactly like what it looked like on Amazon. RGB is just bright enough for my liking. But if you're used to darker peripherals, then uh, you're probably not gonna be too used to this being as subtle as it is white keys against a reflective kind of silver arctic looking background here but as far as i can tell right out of the box it is very plug and play it is super user friendly i didn't even have to look at the manual once to understand what was going on on the keyboard right out of the box if you're a first timer and you're looking for non-dark peripherals for your gaming setup or for your workstation setup the razor huntsman is uh probably one of the nicer looking options as far as functionality uh for the you know i can't speak to that as of yet because this is just an unboxing and i've only typed on it for about a minute or so but initial feel it definitely feels great on my fingertips and better than any Apple keyboard I've ever used in my life. No shade to Apple, by the way. Some people prefer not to hear the, you know, but me in particular, I like that. Also, some people have smaller hands than I do. And the Apple keyboard is probably more fitted to their particular hand size and finger length. Me, however, I need the bigger peripherals. I need the taller keys. I need a better form factor for my particular hands and my particular preference so yeah that's the razor huntsman uh thank you guys so much this has been another episode of unboxing time i think this will double as a gaming setup update like i did the last time that i uploaded and showed you guys my setup so um yeah i don't know i'm probably not gonna do i'm probably not gonna do a gaming setup update every single time i buy a new peripheral uh even though even though that would raise my upload count and make for more content, I just don't think that's like genuine. And I feel like that would be like scamming my channel for views and shit like that. So yeah, when I make really big significant changes, uh, then I'll show you guys the final product as a whole and what changed and things like that. So, and I'm also probably not gonna do an unboxing every single time I buy something. Sometimes I just wanna get right into the box and, and play with my new toys. So yeah. This is the White Razer Huntsman Gaming Keyboard. Fresh out of the box, it is super pretty, super comfortable. I've been Rainy. This has been another Hearst Boys segment, another episode of Unboxing Time, and I will see you guys next time.